Turkey's air force is attacking Islamic State, IS positions in Syria and Kurdish PKK militants in northern Iraq to defend the country's security, Turkish PM Ahmet Devat Doglu says. Mr. Devat Doglu added that 590 suspected IS and PKK members have been arrested. This follows a week which saw a bomb attack blamed on his kill 32 people in the Turkish town of Sirak. Subsequent clashes with his fighters on the Turkey-Syria border led to the death of a Turkish soldier. The PKK's military wing said it had killed two Turkish police officers on Wednesday, claiming they had collaborated with his in the bombing in Sirak, which targeted left-wing activists. Within a week, Turkey has gone from reluctant observer of the coalition against his to military strikes, opening up its bases to warplanes and bombing of PKK positions. What changed? Partly it's months of negotiations between Washington and Ankara. General John Allen, the U.S. envoy for the anti-IS coalition, has paid several visits here to twist arms. The Turkish government pushed for a no-fly area to be implemented inside Syria. It appears Washington gave some ground, accepting a buffer zone, to clear his militants from close to the Turkish border, patrolled by U.S. and Turkish warplanes. The suicide bomb last week in Sirak, which killed 32 people and was blamed on IS, was a catalyst. But it seems Turkey insisted that strikes against IS go hand in hand with those against the PKK. That complicates matters. The coalition is working with Kurdish forces against us in a fragile ceasefire with the PKK may now end, raising fears of renewed Kurdish violence in Turkey. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has one eye on possible new elections in the autumn, hoping to court nationalist voters. A hard line against the PKK would help that.